How do you feel it's changed for people with visual impairments in specialist education since you were a student here at RNC? Well, fairly dramatically. I mean, the nature of blindness has changed. So for many youngsters, they've got more than one challenge. So in my day, you, you, you couldn't see, but you didn't necessarily have other disabilities alongside it. And what's also changed is the number of students here who, at the RNC, who have lost their sight during their teens, mm -hmm. um, their, their childhood and their teens, rather than being blind from birth, as I was. And I think that brings extra challenges. But the big difference is the way in which the college operates. It operates with the students, not to them. Mm. It responds to student need. It is liberating in the sense of not just mobility, but in living skills, in social skills, in, in the whole gamut that makes it possible for people mm. to open up life in the future and to use their talent to the full. Yeah, so in, in terms of the future, do you feel it's important that uh, establishments such as RNC continue to do what they do in the way that they're doing? Yes, I do. And, and with the new vision of it being an outreach college, that it is about social enterprise, but it's also about the future of young people in terms of the world of education and work, mm. uh, and to reach that out across the country. I, I've always believed that this should be a a staging post that to colleges that specialise and particularly where there's residential facility should be a, a, a staging post on the way to independent living and to integration if you like in, in life as a whole mm. and that's what the college is now doing.